This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create a box with custom units? For example, 50 by 79 by 30 millimeters. So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a PolyMesh 3D star here loaded in. And the question is asking about creating a box primitive and then resizing it to a specific unit value. So how can I go by doing that? So the first thing we need to do is create a box primitive. And this can be done by going to the tool palette over here. I'm gonna make sure I have a poly mesh 3D object selected, and then I'm gonna navigate down here to the initialize area. Now in this initialize tab, you'll see a series of buttons, and this will allow me to convert my poly mesh 3D object to a cube, a sphere, a grid, or a cylinder. So we wanna convert the object to a cube, so I'm gonna come over here and click the Q cube option. This is now going to take that poly mesh 3D object and convert it to a cube. So if I turn on my polyframes here, you can see this is the result I'm getting. Now with my cube object selected, now I just need to resize it. And I wanna resize it to the specific values. So that 50 by 79 by 30 millimeters. So I'm gonna navigate up here to the Z plugin tab at the top here and open this up. And then in here, I wanna locate the scale master plugin. Now the scale master plugin will allow you to set a specific scene scale, and then you can resize objects based on that unit value. So as an example of this, I'm first gonna come across the set scene scale option here and click this. This is going to open up a little dialog here. It's going to tell me at the top here, the generic size unit of the current subtool. So you can see this is 0.4 by 0.4 by 0.4. And then below this, it's gonna give me a list of values. So I wanna go through and I wanna select first the unit of measurement that I want my scene to be in and then a size that's closest to that. So I know I want my scene to be in millimeters, so I'm gonna choose this option here. And this is going to allow me to now have my scene in this millimeter format. So I'm gonna come over here and click this and that will now set my scene up for millimeters. Now after I have my scene set, I now need to go through and resize this box to those specific dimensions. So I'm gonna go back to the Z plugin tab at the top here, go back to the scale master plugin, and then in here we have a set of sliders. Now I know I want my box to be 50 by 79 by 30 millimeters. So I'm first gonna come over here and disable the ratio lock, and then in the X value, I'm gonna type in 50 and then hit enter. And then for Y, I'm gonna type in 79 and hit enter. And then for Z, I'm gonna type in 30 and hit enter. Now after I have these values typed in, I now just need to come and locate the resize subtool button and simply click this. ZBrush is going to look at the box primitive here and then resize it based to these values and the format I have selected. So it's going to resize the box to 50 by 79 by 30 and it will be in millimeters. So I'm gonna click resize subtool. And after this is processed, this is the result you should end up with. So I've now taken that box and resized it to those specific values. Now I can double check the size of the box by going to the Z plugin tab here. And then in the scale master area, there is a sliders to subtool size. And if you click this, it'll return the values of that object. So now if you've done a very large scale change, like what I did with the cube here, where the initial size was 0.4 by 0.4 by 0.4, and then I changed it to 50 by 79 by 30, we now just need to go through and reunify our scene. And this can be done by coming up here and clicking the ZBrush scale unify button. So this is going to take your scene and then resize it to an internal scale that works best with ZBrush, but it's still gonna retain the size of your object. So I'm gonna come over here and click ZBrush Scale Unify, and this will now process. And you'll see probably not much change on your screen, but now if you turn on your floor grid, you'll see that the floor now extends out from your object, and your model will still retain that specific size. So now you can also check the size of your model by coming up here and clicking on move scale or rotate and then disabling the gizmo 3D, which will give you the transpose line. You can then click and drag the transpose line on your model and you'll get a millimeter value returned at the top. Now the transpose line has quite a bit of precision, so you'll get a decimal value that may be pretty large on your object. So just use that with caution as you're dragging across your surface and seeing the size of your mesh. So that is the quick breakdown on how you can create a box primitive and then set it to a specific size using the Scale Master plugin inside of ZBrush. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.